If you're looking to improve your home media setup or expand it and want a streaming stick or dongle, then you no doubt are aware of the Chromecast series of devices. But which is right for you? Well, let's simplify with our easy to follow Chromecast buyer's guide for 2021. Thanks for watching 9to5 Google here on YouTube. Remember to thumbs up, hit subscribe, and then tap the bell icon to be among the first to watch our upcoming videos. Despite sharing the same name and having much of the same core features, not all Chromecast devices have been created equally. Much of that is owed to the various release cycles, but because of this, you might be confused as to which is right for you. And with the staggered price model, making the right decision is pretty important. There are currently three distinct Chromecast models in the Google lineup, but the Google Store only officially lists two. However, the Chromecast Ultra is still sold in a bundle as part of the Google Stadia Premiere Edition, which confuses matters further for potential buyers out there. So to simplify, there is the standard Chromecast, which was released in 2018, the Chromecast Ultra, which was released in 2016, and the brand new Chromecast with Google TV. If you have no interest in streaming at resolutions higher than 1080p, then the entry-level Chromecast will be a great companion. 4K UHD streaming is only possible on either the Chromecast Ultra or the Chromecast with Google TV. Beyond screen or video streaming resolution, the big differentiator between the older Chromecast, Chromecast Ultra and the Chromecast with Google TV devices is an interactive UI. One of the biggest selling points of the older generations is simplicity. Just plug in and then connect with the cast protocol when you want to watch TV shows, movies, YouTube videos or listen to music, radio or podcasts. Google TV is bundled in the newest Chromecast. This changes the entire product as a result, but the core usability is still retained should you prefer to cast to your TV. If you have ever seen or used Android TV, then the Chromecast with Google TV will be fairly familiar. It's a brand new UI developed especially for the new hardware that is designed to surface new video content and based heavily upon trending content and recommendations. The system still uses streaming apps, but the main interface gives you recommendations and shows, plus trending content from, and in some cases, competing services such as Disney+, Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, and YouTube. A huge benefit here is that you can sideload or download applications on the Chromecast with Google TV as it uses an Android-based system. There is a reasonably paltry 4GB of onboard storage, but you can expand that with a USB-C hub, which is not possible on the other devices. If you are insistent on adding more applications, then we'd highly recommend doing so and it opens up more opportunities to add extra peripherals like keyboards, mice and gamepads. As we mentioned, this is not possible on the standard Chromecast or Chromecast Ultra models. To put it in simple terms, the original Chromecast dongles do not come with a dedicated remote. You have to use your smartphone to connect to your device and then cast the media to it. The Chromecast takes over the streaming process while you can pause, play and skip from your smartphone. It's all relatively simple and makes it easy if you have multiple people accessing your TV set and want to give everybody access. A remote is provided with the Chromecast with Google TV for the very first time, which is one criticism that has been levelled at the product lineup since first being unveiled. You can still use your phone as a supplementary control method, but a dedicated remote does enhance the experience, especially when navigating the new interface. While all Chromecast devices do have Bluetooth connectivity, the Chromecast and Chromecast Ultra only use the wireless connection method during the setup process. The new Chromecast with Google TV allows you to connect to just about any Bluetooth device. That includes gamepads, wireless mice, and even speakers. The Stadia controller can be synced though to the Chromecast Ultra, and if you are happy to sideload this Stadia app on the Chromecast with Google TV, it will also work just fine. Unfortunately, the original Chromecast will not work with the Stadia controller or any Bluetooth devices for that matter. All Chromecast hardware can also be controlled using your voice with the Google Assistant. Voice commands can be used to play, pause, skip and rewind content. This does become a two-step process for the Chromecast with Google TV though, as you'll need to specify the device name when shouting commands, i.e. Hey Google, play cat videos from YouTube on Google TV. As for pricing, because the Chromecast Ultra is technically discontinued and can only be bought directly from Google as part of the Stadia Premiere Edition, it skews the pricing models of all of the devices ever so slightly. But it does net you three months of Stadia Pro, which is usually priced at $9.99 or £8.99, completely for free. The basic 1080p only Chromecast it has a good $30 entry price point and is ideal for turning an older TV into a basic smart TV set. If you only want to watch YouTube or maybe a little Netflix every now and again, then it's probably the best bet. 
If you do consume a lot of online media from multiple services, the Chromecast with Google TV is among the very best streamers available as you can tailor it just how you want. It comes priced under the competition at $49.99 or £59.99 in the UK. For cloud gamers at the moment, you may need to look at the Stadia Premiere Edition to game natively on your TV. It's currently priced at $99.99 with the Stadia Premiere Edition, although this does provide you a new Stadia controller. Otherwise, you'll have to sideload the Stadia Android app on the Chromecast with Google TV, which can itself be a frustrating task. That said, it does work fairly well and does let you use third-party Bluetooth gamepads alongside the Stadia controller. You won't be able to game at 4K though with this sideloaded app, even if you do have a UHD TV, so your best bet is to go with the Stadia Primary Edition and the Chromecast Ultra. So which is the right Chromecast for your particular setup? Well, we think if you're a gamer who's interested in playing Stadia on your 4K UHD TV, or any TV for that matter, at least for the moment, the Chromecast Ultra and Stadia Premier Edition is a little bit of an anomaly. Until a dedicated Stadia app for Android TV arrives, it's the only streaming dongle that natively supports the cloud gaming platform. Google has confirmed though that the option will arrive before the end of 2021. For that reason, you might want to pick up the Chromecast Ultra if you do want to play Stadia right now, or hold out and hope that the Android TV app comes before the end of the year. That said, you can get comparable Android TV set-top boxes that with the coming update, will resemble the Google TV UI and experience. One of the most popular alternatives is in NVIDIA Shield TV, which includes some exclusive GeForce features and can even be used as an emulation box for your favourite classic consoles. You can achieve something similar with the Chromecast with Google TV, but a lack of CPU grunt might limit your options for playing certain 3D console emulators. For just basic streaming of video from your phone to a TV, the entry-level Chromecast is superb for 1080p videos. There's no remote to lose, anyone can connect with the added benefits of a guest mode, making it easier for friends and family members to stream their own content, plus it's simple with no real room for issues. If you want a remote and more features moving forward though, then the $59.99 Chromecast with Google TV is an absolute no-brainer. The added expansion functionality turns it into a powerful little piece of streaming kit for your home, and it should supersede the Chromecast Ultra by some margin over time. Hopefully that's helped you decipher which Chromecast is right for you, but which is your choice and why? Be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. But until next time, this is Damien with 9to5Google saying thanks for watching and I will speak to you later.